Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online for Mac. I've previously covered Office 365 in episodes 518 and 519, dealing mainly with Word and Excel. As I've previously mentioned, Office 365 is a subscription service from Microsoft, which allows access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Outlook. It allows you to install these applications on up to five Macs, five tablets, and five iPhones, and share the subscription with up to four other users. It also gives you one terabyte of online storage for each person using the Microsoft OneDrive service, and the 60 Skype minutes free each month as well. To finish off my look at Office 365, at least for the time being, I'm going to take a brief tour around the new version of PowerPoint, PowerPoint 2016. As with the previous episodes, I'm not really going to drill down and cover PowerPoint in detail. I really just want to give you a flavor of the capabilities of this new application and demonstrate some of its key features. So let's make a start with PowerPoint 2016. PowerPoint is Microsoft's presentation software, and to be fair, it's had a fairly bad rap in the past, and I think rightly so, um, but in this latest version, they certainly have taken a few lessons from Keynote, and it is a completely different beast. Uh, it's much more cinematic uh, along the lines of Keynote, but uh, let's get started. Uh, what I will do is I'll run it for the first time, and we go straight into the gallery screen to have a look at some of the templates that are provided with PowerPoint. Now, this is a very familiar screen to you probably by now, uh, and I do repeat myself on some of these shows, especially on the past few where there have been so many similarities. It might not be that you're watching these sequentially. It might be that people are just dipping into these shows in the future. So I do need to sort of repeat myself now and again to just cover some of the bases. But this is the standard opening screen. Um, we have uh, several tabs across the side. We have our account tab here, and that was just to add connected services. It shows us we're connected to OneDrive, which is our personal cloud account with the one terabyte of storage. I've got my new tab here, allows me to go in and create a brand new presentation uh, using some of the inbuilt templates. I can scroll up and down to have a look at all the templates and I can search them as well. I can go to my recent uh, documents. I haven't got any recent documents as of yet. I can also go to open. So the open dialog takes me straight to my OneDrive personal account. I can also switch across and go across to the Mac to pull in uh, files and documents from my Mac. But let's just reset that back to the standard viewer. And if I go into new, uh, let's create a brand new presentation. Now I won't actually create a blank presentation. I'll do something with a bit of color. Uh, let's go with this uh, crop one here. Okay, I'll go ahead and say create. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the common user interface elements. To get the full version of this tutorial completely for free, as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14 day no obligation free trial screencasts online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14 day free trial membership. <laughs> 